Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around because I post up to three videos per week all about parenting, motherhood, breastfeeding and a few cleaning videos here and there. Today I thought I'd do a like a makeup tutorial, not so much a tutorial but just kind of showing you how I go from a scummy mummy to a somewhat solid five yummy mummy. Um, I don't get to do my makeup that often, but currently um, Holly's just playing nicely, Harry's gone down for a nap and Alfie's still in bed so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do my makeup so I'm ready for the day so I'm not like lounging about feeling like crap. So I'm gonna start now. <laughs> doing my makeup pretty simple I'm not you know a makeup expert I don't really you know I'm not the whole like shebang like eyelashes and all that sort of jazz I just keep it pretty simple like me where's the bloody oh yes yeah, so my sister gave me this like Roche Posay it's like a um anti-irritating um balm I'm not really into like I mean I used to be like really into products I buy them like all the time but I don't know, I think I'm not really into um, like appearance and things like that. It's just never really bothered me. I just kind of wear what I think looks good. I kind of wear what makeup I think suits me. I'm not kind of like an all, oh crap. I see like a lot of people like going all out with makeup. I don't, one, I don't know how they find the patience because I'm not very good at like eyeshadow and stuff. But yes, that's me moisturized, ready to go. I'm going to use a little bit of L'Oreal True Match. Um, I don't really use this that often because um, I always find it a bit runny. But I'm going to use it today anyway. Just something I just quickly picked up my bag. I never go too heavy with makeup because I feel like I'm so busy throughout the day that I don't want to put too much on and it like all running off my face basically by like three o'clock. I'm seriously loving YouTube at the moment. I'm getting really into it. Um, I remember watching Zoella when I was much younger. Um, I'd probably say in about 2010, like when she first started, I remember finding her on YouTube and watching her for like, oh, I'd watch her every single video, I'd go back and watch all her videos and I was obsessed and I remember saying to myself, like, I really want to do a YouTube, I really want to make YouTube videos and I never did and I don't know why, but I feel like now, I don't, I'm not saying like, you know, it's never too late to start something that you want to do and that you love, but I kind of wish I started back then. And just kind of, I think I was just too nervous. I didn't feel like I had any like, you know, really expensive like camera equipment or anything like that. I mean, this camera I'm filming off now, I got on eBay. <sighs> you tired? So that's the first lot of concealer that I do. And then obviously being a mum, I've got lots of dark circles because I don't bloody sleep. So I am going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in extra light and you can tell I definitely need extra light so I'm going to go in with this and I do this under my eyes as well I feel like I'm putting a, you know a ton load of uh, concealer on but I do need it us mums we need it so when I upload this it will be Sunday so I hope you've all had a lovely weekend um let me know what you got up to in the comments if you want to Albie's back to school on Monday and Holly's back at nursery I'm really lo lo not looking forward to the school runs I was doing nursery day. Not today. On Monday you're going. Yeah. Yeah. You. Want to see your friends? No. No. Mum, I found Daddy Pig. You found Daddy Pig? It's on the sofa. Oh, you were trying to find him for a while, weren't you? Yeah. So I'm pretty much covered. Um, my base is done. Well, not yet. I need to put some. Uh, powder on. I've got the Hello Flawless from Benefit and this is just like a ivory one. So what I like to use, I like to use like another beauty blender and just like dab that in. I hate using a brush because I feel like one, I don't have like expensive brushes that are like nice and my cheap ones like to molt on me whilst I'm doing my makeup which is an awful like, it's a pain to just like pick them off. So I just use a beauty blender. And I feel like my makeup lasts if I use a blue blender with um, powder. It never really works with um, a brush. So I just go around. I don't dab my entire face. I just kind of dab like the centre of my face where I get oily. And then I do a bit on my forehead. So that's me done with that. And then I'm going to go in with a bronzer. Well, like a contour kind of thing. And I just have this really old. I mean, it's so old that it actually has rubbed off the entire back. I believe it's a Maybelline and it's got like the that side. I mean, I really need to get a new one. That's like the bronzer and that's like a highlighter. I don't ever use the highlighter. I don't really see the point because um, I have a separate one. But um, 
but yeah so I just use that and I just go in I go all around my forehead make myself look a bit you know I'm feeling like really self-conscious at the moment because since having Harry like I've always been like a solid like size eight like um seven and a half stone like dinky petite and I've gained so much weight and it might not I'm not saying I'm fat or anything I'm just a bit self-conscious because I've gained a lot of weight since having Harry and it's the biggest I've probably ever been yeah and I mean I try to watch my weight but then I try to compensate for it being like oh I'm so fat and I'll just eat like rubbish um and I hate being like that because I don't want it to have like a negative effect on my kids if um I'm you know constantly criticizing my own body it's not teaching them you know to love their own body so doing my makeup makes me feel like so much better and I feel like I'm just ready for the day then I don't have to worry I can just quickly nip out if I want to and my auntie always told me that always go out of the house as if you're bumping into an enemy and I think that's such good advice the amount of people I've bumped into in the past like exes or anything like that and I've just looked like absolutely um so yeah always leave the house if you're bumping into an enemy <coughs> so that is done then i go on to i've got this lovely little elf palette which is absolutely amazing i got this in boots probably like last year it's a brush palette it's got like all these different colors i'm probably gonna go for like this one Mom, actually Mom, today it's yeah the water pardon it's water is it water yeah don't know this is Oh, okay. I'm going to go in that on my cheeks. Plus, my blush are done. I'm pretty sure I've really gone heavy handed on that side, haven't I? Oh, well, it's fine. Cool. Pat it. And the next thing that I do are my eyebrows. I mean, compared to my hair, they are ridiculously light. So I'm going to go ahead and do these. I remember when I felt, well, like, when I, what are you, what are you, what, it's only a fly, Holly? It's only a fly, baby. Not get Holly. Um, I remember when I first started doing my eyebrows and when it was actually like a thing I just noticed how much it changes your face Like me without eyebrows I just look a bit the camera just turned off for some reason Yeah okay um, But yeah I definitely cannot do my makeup without doing my eyebrows as well Because I just think it shapes your face completely I love you mum I love you too darling So that's one eyebrow done Simple, doesn't take me very long. I don't even think my eyebrows could be like less similar, even if I tried. Um, they do say that uh, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, but mine are cousins. Harry's awake. Say hi. Hi, yeah. <laughs> So once I've done my eyebrows, I go on to my uh, highlighter and I'm going to use my Jouer, Jouer, oh hello me. So story with my highlighter and having a toddler, if you're a mum and you've got a toddler, you know toddlers and makeup just do not mix, they like to get involved with it, they like to have a little play. And my Jouer highlighter was, you know, it wasn't expensive, I'd say like £20 or whatever. Um, which I suppose is kind of expensive but I bought it ages ago and it cracked and um, I just kind of left it in the hope that it would just kind of you know I could still use it it's not the end of the world but it cracked and Holly decided to crack it probably more so she was like throwing it around and then the other day she went outside and just poured it out in the garden so I couldn't even salvage it so I'm kind of left with the residue of my highlighter but I suppose you know at the end of the day as long as I've got some in there I don't really mind so now I've done my highlighter, I'm going to go on to my eyes and um, for some reason like postpartum does not work well with me. I, do, I lose my hair, I lose my eyebrows, I lose my eyelashes um, and I just, you know, all my hair starts to fall out in weird different places. So I'm going to use my um, Maybelline New York Sensational, it's kind of like a... Uh, like a primer before you put your um, mascara on and it gives me a bit more volume because that's definitely what I need then I'm just going with my lash sensational from Maybelline I love this it's really really good so a bit of a tip when, that I learned like only just recently but I have I've kind of just always done it but my eyelashes, because I'm always tired, um, I found like when I was putting mascara on my bottom lashes, it was making me kind of, making my eyes kind of drag down a bit. So I don't really do that anymore. I just kind of do my top ones. I'm going to grab a handheld mirror and actually look down because I feel like looking up like that just makes me look bloody weird. That's 
my mascara done and then I go on to my lips. I'm not really sure what to use today. What should I use today, Holes? Yeah. you think this one? That's a maybe. This one good? Okay, I'm going to use this. Thank you, Holly. <gasps> I'm going to use my Maybelline New York uh, Matte <coughs> Ink. What colour is this? In Seductress. That's lips. It's lips. Thing. Yeah. Do you think and this one's pretty? And it's purple. Well, it's not purple. It's got like a pinky colour. A pinky colour. And like I said, I had my hair cut yesterday, so it's kind of like a bit wavy and everything now. So I'm just going to go through with my hair straighteners. Um, and yeah, and straighten out a bit. I hadn't had my hair cut for nearly two years. I think the last time I had my hair cut was December 2000 and. 17 and I had it for my dad's wedding and um, I had something similar to this um, but at the time I was blonde so I just kind of you know I'm very much like you know I'll grow my hair for ages and then just have like a drastic cut I mean before I've gone to a hairdresser's and they've said um, what do you want done and I'm like just do anything and that's when I had like this inverted bob done for my dad's wedding and um, people had told me for years to do it um, and I was like no it's gonna look weird I'm gonna look like Victoria Beckham um, but no I really like it and it does suit my face so um, I'm really pleased with that actually so that is me done for the day um, I feel so much better now that I can just kind of you know go out and not have to worry and yeah I can't see you. oh sorry oh you say hello are you going to do your makeup today? You are? Oh, hey, Alf. Alfie's just woken up as well. Hiya, darling. Hi. You okay? Yeah. You have a nice sleep? Yeah. Good. I've just gone from a scummy mummy to a yummy mummy. How do you think I look? Good. Do you? Yeah. Thank you, baby. But anyway, so that is my final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you'll be seeing more of us every single week, up to three times per week. And yeah, you're going to say bye, guys. Bye. bye.